All right, so we know how to open up the additional sampler rather than the default one here. And we can see the difference where we've got the envelope section here. Uh, we now understand about ADSR. So if we click on this envelope section here, and remember, we need to set our root note back to that G sharp. So to activate the envelope where it says envelope, we're going to click on it and we're going to get the little red icon just here. And now things are going to be slightly different. Hear how it's taking time to get to the full level. We've got ATT here, which is our attack. We can dial that right back and we'll instantly be at that full velocity. If we dial it in just slightly, we can just get a little wind up into that. This can be really nice when working with samples, especially if there's drums in there, we can work ways to make it so the drum transients don't cut through by using this. Now, in addition to the ADSR on the sampler, we have delay. This is sort of a, a timing delay. So by pressing this, it will just delay when the sample starts. So if we just have a, a tiny bit of it in play. In this case, we want that right at the start. We've also got hold in this instance and hold maintains the level here. Look of the maximum amplitude. So on a longer sound, we can just hold it out for the whole sample if we like. We then got decay. We can reduce decay right down and make it more of a pluck. Uh, we need to reduce the sustain and the release to really get that pluck feel. I would take some time now to have a look at the sampler in your own projects and really get a feel for how the ADSR works because we're going to use it a bit more as we go through these sample videos because we're going to use it lots more as we use other sampler instruments inside FL Studio.